Seven years ago, I sat in front of a young interviewee from the University of Iowa. His name was Asita. I'd never met anybody from Sri Lanka before. It was quite interesting. And I'm interviewing him to consider whether he should be part of our residency program and train in ear, nose, and throat, head, and neck at Vanderbilt. As I was looking in his eyes, I saw this amazing twinkle, this excitement, is what I'm looking for when I interview people. He was just this creative spirit, this uh, unbelievable desire to make a difference in the world that kind of set him apart. So I challenged Asita about three years ago when he was a young resident to help me to figure this out. <clears throat> help me to set up a hearing screening program that would be so simple that it could be based on a cell phone that uh, we could take community health care workers and go into the bush country, these, these countries where there's no audiologists, there's not enough ENT doctors to see them, and discover all these children with hearing loss. If we could just give hearing to a five-year-old child, then we could radically change his life and the generations that follow. Now, I've challenged lots of residents to do things over the years, and they have done some pretty impressive things, but Asita stands out beyond all of the rest. I think this, he has single-handedly done something that's going to change the world as far as hearing loss and make a difference in these, these low and middle income countries. Well, he's got effervescent joy, effervescent positivity. He's infectious in his personality. If you're having a bad day and you get around a seat or your bad day goes away. He has this creative spirit that's constantly questioning what's around him. He never lets a question rest. And so it is just fun to be with him because we're, he loves learning. We're constantly learning together. We're constantly having fun. He takes the toughest situations and makes them enjoyable. Some people live their entire life doing their job but never making a difference in the world around them. I think what you all have done there is you have, along with his parents, molded him into someone whose passion is to make a difference in the world, whose passion is to be creative and, and make the world that he lives in a far better place because he's been there. The reason I work at Vanderbilt University in academic medicine is because I get to be around these genius young doctors and medical students. Uh, they inspire me in my life to keep going. And uh, Asita is a special, special person. I'll start crying. <laughs> uh, who, who has blessed my life?